Wave Accounting Software Tutorial Simplify Bookkeeping and Financial Reporting Full Guide. Hey guys, welcome to Wave Tutorial in which I will be showing you everything you need to know for your bookkeeping, for your accounting and more. So let's get into the video. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to waveapps.com and you will land on this website right here. Wave is all in one platform for accounting, invoicing, online payments and to create payrolls. Uh, with Wave, you will be able to run your business and you don't need to use a, a lot of different apps. You can get all of these options within one software and it will allow you to manage your work better. In order to get started with Wave, all you have to do is you can just simply click on get started and you can create an account using your email address or using Google account. Uh, so you can choose the free plan as well to get started. Now, after the initial sign up, you will land on this dashboard right here. You can see this is our basic dashboard of Wave. Using Wave accounting is really easy. Here at the top, you will find the quick create new option that allows you to create a transaction, estimate, invoice, bill, customer, vendor, and more. And then, of course, you have all of the options separately here. We have dashboard, sales, and payments. We have under sales and payments, you will find the estimates, invoices, and more. Then we have purchases, receipts, accounting, banking, payroll, reports, and more. So I will show you all of these options one by one. Now, first of all, what we're going to be doing is we will simply go to the create new option here. And you can see we have different options. We have transaction, invoices, customer, and more. So the first step that I think you should do is creating different customers because once you have your customer list or you have imported your customers or added the contacts, this way you will then be able to create invoices for the customers for those people and you can also then create you know different estimates and more. So all you have to do is add the customer name. So for example, I'm creating a new customer which is Ben and I'm just going to add the name here. And then we have the first name. So of course we're going to be adding again the first name the last name then we will be adding an email address so we will go with and we're gonna be typing in the whole email and then we have the phone number so this is where you will add a phone number so uh, once you're done with this you're just gonna click on add contact and your contact will be added here now we can actually add the billing address here we can add the shipping for this uh, you know contact that we're creating and for shipping as well you will add ship to you will add the shipping address click on save and this way your new contact will be saved and this way you will not have to create a contact manually every time so now you can see we have created a you know um contact right here now with this contact i'll be able to create invoices i will be able to then add uh, you know cards and more we can edit the customer anytime we want to so now the first thing that I will show you is how to create an invoice with Wave. What you have to do, simply go on create new, go to invoice, or you can go to sales and payments and then you can add invoices from here too. I'm going to click on invoice and, and now we will create an invoice. So uh, for the invoice, you will give your invoice the name. So I'm just going to call it invoice test for the purpose of the video. Then we have the summary and in summary, I can add whatever I want to. For example, this is like a test invoice. So I'm just going to write that here. And then we have add customer. Now that's why I told you to create different customers first. So you can see I will just select the customer that we just created. Then we have the number of the invoice, so it's one, and then we have PO and SO number, then we have the invoice date. Now this is the date when the invoice is created, and then we need to create a payment date. So let's say the payment is for tomorrow, it's due tomorrow within one day. So we're going to be doing that if it's like maybe a week, if you want to do it like at the end of the month within 15 days within 30 days you can do that um so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and add like the next day and then we have items now this is where you need to add an item to your invoice so for that you can actually create an item first so what we can do is we can click on add an item and now we will click on enter the item name and we can see for example this item is 
the services that we provide. So I'm just going to write services, click on done. You can add the item description, whatever you want to add for the description. And then we have the quantity. So let's say this person got like three of these and the price for each one was 100. Let's just keep it simple. And then you will be able to see that we have the total right here. Now, if I want to add another item, I will just click on add an item or maybe they also got something. It was maybe a physical product for you. So you could just simply go ahead and add like product and then the quantity was one, but the product was maybe like 2000. So you can add it right here. Then you can also add the text here and you can add the amount uh, or you can just simply leave it. And then there is also a note here that you can add. And this will be the total amount of the invoice. Here at the bottom, we can actually create a footer for our business and we can add maybe like a thank you note or something. So we're just going to go ahead and maybe like add the word thank you. Then we have attachment. Now this is where you can upload a file. You can drag and drop as well. So this is really important for the invoice. So you can go ahead and do that and maximum is like 20 MB. Now I'm going to click on save and continue and you'll be able to see that a brand new invoice will be created and you can see this is what the invoice looks like with Wave. You can see very professional and we can see the bill too and then we can see the pricing, we can see the name, we can see the company's name and everything and then at the end it says powered by. So this one is actually pretty good and if I want to edit it anytime I can also do that and now all I have to do is just like send this and it's actually sent to this email right here. Uh, so now we can create another invoice anytime. We could perform more actions like duplicating the invoice. We can make a recurring invoice. So let's say that this voice occurs every month. So what we can do is we can create a recurring invoice. So for that, what you do is you can add like next schedule. So this happens monthly on the first of every month or you can select a date. So maybe this occurs every 15th of the month. So it's just going to go ahead and select 15th here. And then you can see and now we have create the first invoice. So the next will be on the 15th. And then we have end it never or when you want to end it or you want to create it according to what time. So if I click on next and now what will happen is that I will simply add like get paid and I will add the payment method here and then we have the send invoice and this invoice is now a recurring invoice that I have created. Similarly, we can end it, duplicate it as well and this is what we can do within the invoice option uh, in our wave. So uh, after invoice, I will show you how to create an estimate in Wave. To create an estimate on Wave, what you have to do is you have to select the customer first. So we're going to go ahead and select the customer that we just created. And then similarly, we have the estimate name. We have a customer reference. So if you want to add like a reference to the customer, you can add it right here. And then we have add an item. Now, this is where I can add the item that we have already created or maybe I can create a new item. So maybe like we can create a new one. Um, so to create a new item, you just click on create new and then you give your item a name. So let's say this one is services two because we have already created a, you know, service one. So we're going to go with service test and then we have a description here. Uh, for the description, we're just going to add like dot, dot, dot. And then we have a price. Now, this is where I can add the price of this specific product. So let's say this one is $600. And then we have income uh, account. So if you want to go with the consulting income or the sales, you can also add it right here. And then we can add the text too. Click on save and your new product will be saved. And now every time you want to like add a new product so you can add from here you can add the item so we're going to add this one and maybe i can add another which is going to be this one so now we've added these two you know items and now at the end you can see the total and then it's quite similar to what you saw in invoice how we created an invoice it's the similar how we will create an estimate now this is the footer where i can just simply go ahead and add the footer and we can just add like thank you for this one so we're gonna do that okay we have thank you here and then we have the attachments and in attachments we have 
we can upload a file here we can drag and drop very simply so all i have to do is now is we can click on preview and before i save i, I can get a preview of the estimate and now we're going to click on save and continue and you'll be able to see that the new estimate has been created and this is the name here uh, so this is how you will create an estimate and this is how you create an invoice. Now let me show you how we can create the checkouts or how the checkouts look like with Wave. So with Wave what happens is because you are accepting the payments directly from the website, what you can do is you can set up a online payment method with Wave. And the transaction rates are actually pretty good and there's no hidden charges, everything is very clear here. So what you can do is you can click on set up an online payment method and this is where you will be able to connect any type of payment method. You can see Wave offers all of the different, you know, cards so you can use them here and you can see all of the different things and features that you will be given. Uh, similarly, we can actually go to the customer statements. Now, with customers, there's also customer statement that you, you can create. So go to customer statement, click on create statement, and here you can select the customer first. For, so for example, we're gonna select the customer that we created, and then you can add outstanding invoices or account activity. So I'm gonna go with this one, click on create statement, and now you'll be able to see that a statement will be created according to the invoices and the estimates and where this you know specific customer was involved. Uh, now next we have so this is all under the sales and payments the, the first option uh, within your wave so you can see under sales and payment we have estimate invoices recurring invoices I showed you how to create this one I showed you how to create a customer and then we have product and services so this is where you create an item and I showed you how to create an item as well you can just simply go here and then you can create services and products as you like you can edit them or you can delete them as well so uh, the second option that you will be getting on wave is the purchases so under purchases we have bills vendors products and services again so we're going to go to the bills here and this is where you'll be able to create billing uh, for different customers and you'll be able to get all the information in order to create a bill you just have to click on create bill and now this is where we will create a bill First of all, they say choose a vendor. So before you create a bill, you can actually create a vendor. So for that, you can actually create it from here or you can go to the vendor option here. I'm going to click on add new vendor and enter the vendor name. So for example, we have this name. Then you can add an email address. You can add the first name of the vendor. You can add the last name and then you can select the currency and you can add the additional information as well. Click on add vendor and a new vendor will be created. So the first step is select a vendor and then we have select the currency so you can select any currency here we have bill date and due date so the due date i'm gonna change it to tomorrow and then we can add an item so here we can create a new product so again under purchases we have vendors and then we have product and services so you can create products and services at first then you can create a bill so i'm gonna go to product and services click on add a product and we will add a name so for example this is the product and then we can add a description and then we can add the amount so for example the amount is 1000 click on save then a new product will be created so now a product has been created here so we're gonna go to the bills and we're gonna open up the bill that we were creating so now we will choose the vendor and then this time if i go to the items you'll be able to see that we can add the new product and we will select the product from here so now you can see we even have the bill number so maybe like we can give it number one and then click on save and now you'll see that the bill will be created uh, that's how easy it is to create a bill with wave uh, the process for all of these for example creating an invoice or creating a uh, estimate expense or bill it's quite similar on wave and it's super simple you just have to enter all of the information and you should just create your customers import your customers actually or uh, or you can create your products services and then you just have to add the information so now you can see this is how we create a bill uh, within our wave so after purchases we have receipts now Receipts is an important, uh, you know, uh, option that you will be getting with your wave. So we can create very professional, um, you know, receipts here. So I'm going to click on get started. So receipt is actually one of the most important options in wave. We can create a receipt very easily. All you have to do is you just have to 
kind of like follow the same steps that you have to enter the information, the product, and then you can upload receipts from your mobile, web, or email and forward to your inbox very easily. Then we have the accounting. And under accounting, we have transaction, we have charts account, hire a bookkeeper as well. So I'm going to go take you to transactions. And this is where you can add a transaction or create a transaction with Wave. So here you will get, be getting three options. Once you go to the transaction, we have import automatically, upload transactions, add manual transaction as well. So let's say I want to upload a transaction. So all I have to do is just click on upload a transaction. And that will allow me to now upload from my computer. I can choose a file. And I can even select a payment account if I want to cash on hand, if I want to go get a wave payroll clearing too. So what I will be doing is I'll just click on choose file and then I can choose a file from my computer and upload it right here. Uh, the third option that you get when it comes to transaction is add manual transactions. So if I click on this one, this will allow me to add a transaction manually. So how to do that? Um, here, first, we have to select a date. So I'm going to go ahead and select today's date. Then we have account. If you want to go for cash on hand, if you want to go for honor investment or wave payroll clearing. So we will be going for cash on hand. Then we have the amount. So maybe the amount is 300 USD. You have to write a description here. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and write the word test. Then we have type. So type is withdrawal or deposit. So this one is actually deposit. So we're going to select that. Then we have the income, where it's coming from, whether it's a refund, if it's assets account, liability account, equity account, or more. So for example, this one actually comes from a invoice that has been received. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then we have the notes. So in here, I can add any type of note for my transaction especially in wave because you will have uh, you know different team members here so you can add this knot then we have the receipt so in receipts again you can select the receipt from your computer or you can select from the receipt that you created uh, within your wave once you're done you're just going to click on save and now you can see your transaction will be created you can see here i can create as many transactions as i like if i click on more i will be able to connect to bank or i can upload a transaction too uh, then we have, you can see under accounting, we have banking, and this is where you can find your connected accounts, payouts, and insurance. So you can check out these options here. Then we have a payroll. So let me take you to the payroll dashboard on Wave. So this is our payroll dashboard within our Wave. You can see we have the user management. Then we have the payroll settings. So what we can do is uh, we can also see a bunch of different things here. We can see our business profile. We'll be able to see the pending account. Uh, after that, we have the reports. Now, report is um, very essential when it comes to a bookkeeping and accounting software. So uh, with reports uh, within our way, we get the reports for our financial statements where you'll be able to see the profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow. In Texas, you'll be able to see the sales tax report. In payroll, you can see your payroll report. So each section has been divided to make it convenient for you to access your analytics and reports. And you can even download the, the reports or import them or even send them to an email. Then at the bottom here, you actually get advisor, which is a really good option available for beginners. So if you feel like you need help, then you can avail this uh, you know option. And at the bottom here, you will be finding your tax filling which is also uh, related to the advisors where you will be able to get all the information. So what we can do is with the WAVE, uh, you can set up your account, you can set up your payment method, and then you can get started. And within your uh, you know, main dashboard, you get all these different options. You can create invoices, you can connect to your bank account, and more. So with all of these features, you might wonder what is the affordability of this platform. So let me show you the pricing plan. The pricing plan for Wave is pretty simple. If I switch to the annual pricing, then there is a starter plan, which is completely free, which is $0, which is pretty good. And then we have a pro plan, which is recommended. It is $170 per year if built annually. And uh, with this plan, you can actually save up to 22%. And with the you know pro plan, you will be getting more options here. So you can go ahead and check out Wave. You can simply go to next.waveapps.com and you can choose the plan of your choice and then you can avail all of the different features and tools that I showed you.
so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope this video was a big help to you don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel